So the question is, how do you identify whether a song is in a major key or a minor key? And this is a great question. I can't stress enough how important it is to understand this concept and to learn this. So there's one indicator. Well, there's a couple of indicators that you can use, and I'll give you a little secret today that you can use to understand or to figure this out in the beginning. So the first thing is to figure out what that third scale degree is when listening to a song. Once you hear that song, and once you hear that bass line, say for instance, the song is in the key of C major, and you hear that third note, that third, that major third is gonna be an indicator 9.9 .9 times out of 10 that it's gonna be in a major key. And anywhere in that bass line, it requires you to play that third scale degree, or in this case, an E, then that key is pretty much probably gonna be in the key of C major or a major key, depending on what your starting point is. The other indicator is the opposite, the minor. Okay, so if that third is flat and you hear a, an E flat played instead of an E, in this case, because we're in, we're in the C, key of C major and it differs, the notes obviously differs once you change keys, but in this case, this is what I'm talking about. Don't want you to get confused about that. So in this case, if that third note is flat in that bass line that you're playing, 9.9 .9 times out of 10 is gonna be in a minor key. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be in a minor or natural minor scale key. That's just the most common key to be in when you're in a minor key. It can be a Dorian. So it's almost a little bit of a mix, but you still call that a minor key because it has that minor third element. So that's one of the indicators that you can tell with that minor third. The second, I should have said this first, but the second is listening to the song and just identifying the happy sound from the sadder sound. So a happier sound versus a sadder sound. And guess what I did to change that sound is I altered that third note in the scale. So that third scale degree, the same exact way we just figured out the natural minor scale and the major scale, but that third degree, I changed it. So take a listen. Major. That major third scale degree is right here on the top. Now let's change that. Let's flat it. Listen to the sound. Listen to how it makes you feel. Let's go back to the major. Back to the minor. So just training your ear, it takes a little bit of ear training to identify and internalize these major sounds, major chords, major arpeggios, major triads, and minor triads. Uh, one of the ways to do that is actually with the exercise that I just, I drill into you guys' heads. It's, it's just the Mo's exercise. So a difference between a major arpeggio and a minor arpeggio, just get that in your head. way to do that is to play all of the notes together so if you were to play a C major chord or even up here and let's change that third scale degree so when you're listening to a song the song in its totality totality sorry I got tongue tied uh, totality total wow totality no, why that's so hard to say. A song in its totality will have this specific sound, minor sound, major sound, uh, just listening for, just active listening. One time in a live stream class that we had and the song was in the key of D, but I didn't know if it was major or minor. So the song kind of played out and I was trying to figure out the song. I was listening to the bass line. So the bass line went from the, the D to the F sharp. The F sharp being the major third scale degree in that key. All right, so it went. So those are all the notes inside of that D major scale. And that's the way I can identify that. Oh, oh this song is in a major key. Okay, just identified it just like that. I mean, I could tell from just how it sounded in the beginning from the piano chords and what he was playing, you know, diatonically to that scale, to that key, basically meaning 
inside of the key or inside of a major scale. Uh, so what he was playing in the beginning, like the melody, uh, it was a... It just has the major sound. If I, if I change that to a different melody, I would change the melody, change that note. That can oh, that can easily be a minor, but it's... And if I wanted to do a minor, I'd just use that minor third. I'm just messing around, just kind of showing you exactly how it would sound in different elements that you can listen to in the song. So it takes a quite a bit of ear training. Uh, in the next lesson or uh, in a you know future lesson, I can list some songs out to where you can easily identify, boom, that's a major song, that's in a major key, or boom, that's a minor song in a minor key, um, just to quickly identify. Uh, and sometimes it's not easy. Trust and believe it is not easy all the time. And then you have different elements to where songs are in a minor key, but it can also be in a major key, like the relative major, relative minor. If that's going too far over your head, go check out the relative major, relative minor lessons uh, here, and it, that'll give you a full explanation of that. But hopefully this helped. Hopefully something like this helped just a little bit. Um, and to those who are wondering, because I know I get a lot of questions about this same exact topic. Uh, so hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, but anyway, until next time, thanks, Chrissy, for the question. Awesome question. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.